Anyways, another good example of another public apology would be the 2013 Academy Awards, which in this case is a public apology to us classic Disney fans who are disappointed about the fact that the only Disney movies that were able to win the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature are nothing but Spirited Away and Pixar films. In 2012, the winner for the Academy Awards for Best Animated Feature went to Brave. It led us Disney fans and gamers to go all angry about the fact that Wreck-It Ralph didn't win the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. What were they thinking? Are you kidding me? Are you f***ing serious? <laughs> If I were an Academy member, and as such, only had to pick one, it would have been Wreck-It Ralph. Seth, I know why you think crossovers are pornographic. Boy, I really hope somebody got fired for that blunder. And I don't blame them. In 2013, the winner of the Academy Awards for Best Animated Feature was Frozen. Every Disney fan was so happy for Frozen that I would even say best in the Oscar talk video that I did with Sparking TV. So what did you think about Frozen winning the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature? Um, I thought that was a pretty good pick because like, I felt like it was very influential this year. I have to agree with you, Ashley, and I will admit that um, this is the moment in which we Disney fans have all been waiting for. See an animated movie from Walt Disney Animation Studios win the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature at least once. Because, as you can see, whenever we see an animated Disney movie win an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature, it's always nothing but Pixar. But for this year, it turns out that they gave Walt Disney Animation Studios a second chance, thankfully. Anyways, another animated Disney film not from Pixar that also got to win the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature is Big Hero 6, even though I would rather have the Lego Movie win. Unless you count Spirited Away, considering the fact that Disney did handle the English dub for that film as well as most of the other Studio Ghibli films as well. Anyways, speaking of which, another good example is of another public apology would be the 2002 Academy Awards, which in this case is the public apology to Studio Ghibli fans for not awarding Princess Mononoke for Best Picture. Me out. In 1997, Studio Ghibli released Princess Mononoke. When Princess Mononoke first came out in Japan, it was a major success. When Princess Mononoke got its English dub, the English dub was handled by Miramax. And you know who from Miramax handled the English dub? The producer of Hoodwinks 2, Hood vs. Evil, and Escape from Planet Earth himself. Harvey Weinstein. Anyways, when Harvey Weinstein handled the English dub for Princess Mononoke, Weinstein wanted to make some changes, but Hayao Miyazaki gave him a sword that said no cuts. Just be lucky that they didn't send him a wolf girl just to remind him of that. And because the people of Miramax weren't allowed to make any changes to the film, with the exception of translating certain words from the English subtitles version 
from Japanese to English, it was shown to less theaters that expected and it bombed at the box office. And Disney was surprised and unamused by what Miramax did. Today's lesson? Never leave your animated projects in the hands of Harvey Weinstein. Because if you do, stuff like this happens. And because Studio G we let Princess Mononoke fall under the hands of Harvey Weinstein, it didn't even get nominated for an Academy Award at all. Not even for Best Picture. Heck, we'd be really lucky if we ever saw one get nominated. In 2002, Studio Ghibli released their next feature film, Spirited Away. It was an incredible success. So much so that it would even win the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. Anyways, another good example of a public apology would be Dunstar Adventures 4th Grade Sapphire Falls. And which in this case it's a public apology to those for going all Five Nights at Freddy's with Dumpstart Adventures 4th Grade Haunted Island. In 1996, Knowledge Adventure released Dumpstart Adventures 4th Grade Haunted Island. When it first came out, it contained Knowledge of Land as a bonus disc. One thing about Dumpstart Adventures 4th Grade Haunted Island that I disliked would be the candle timer. In 2000, Knowledge Adventure released Jumpstart Adventures 4th Grade, Sapphire Falls. Thankfully, it doesn't feature any elements from the original version of Jumpstart 4th Grade whatsoever. Not even the candle timer. However, this is a trait that Jumpstart Toddlers also has as well. Jumpstart 4th Grade is the only game in the series to ever receive an updated version, excluding the advanced games alongside Jumpstart Baby, Jumpstart Toddler, Jumpstart Preschool, Jumpstart Kindergarten, and Jumpstart First Grade. And now, my final example of another public apology would be the new and improved Bunny Song. In which in this case is a public apology to those who feel offended with the immorals that can be heard in the past versions of the Bunny Song from the VeggieTales episode, Rack, Shack, and Benny. Understand, boys? You do? Oh, yes. I understand that you're bad buddies! Hear me out. In 1995, Big Idea released a VeggieTales episode based on the story of Rack, Shack, and Benny. In this episode, Bob the Tomatoes, Rack, Junior Asparagus is Shack, and Larry the Cucumber is Benny. The Bunny Song is sang by Mr. Nezer. A few weeks after Rack Shack and Benny first came out, parents began sending in letters to Big Idea by complaining that their kids were singing these two lyrics. I don't love my mom or my dad, just the bunny. And the bun I won't go to church, and I won't go to school. Anyways, as a result, Big Idea was forced to change the lyrics in various silly songs and later re-releases of Rack, Shack, and Benny. Like, for example, instead of singing I don't love my mom or my dad, just the bunny Mr. Nether sang bunny. I don't love my soup or my bread, just the bunny And instead of singing I won't go to church and I won't go to school Mr. Nether sang Anyways, in 1997, the Bunny song appeared in some very silly songs. Michel Bob, let not that pasta sing that Bunny song. In which in there, all the lyrics had to be Disney-fied. I see. Thus making it called the new and improved Bunny song. I see. Two other Rack, Shack, and Bunny songs that were also included in, in very silly songs are The Dance of the Cucumber, and stand up. It marks the first appearance of the pirates who don't do anything, and who would also later on reappear in two theatrical Veggie Tales movies. And that's what it is a public apology.
Now, before I can go finish this episode off, I just want to say that I'm sorry. I know that I really, really, really should not have included any Walker for Walker songs in here in the Epic Battle soundtrack. And I, and I definitely know for a fact that I really, really, really should not have included any My Little Pony characters appear in either Epic Battles 2 nor in Epic Battles 3. Now keep in mind that, that when I was doing Epic Battles, I was only doing it for how a DC Dungeon I always wanted it to be, not, not on what other people want. And even if I don't agree with the nostalgia critic on the Dr. Seuss movies, he does bring a really good point that when Dr. Seuss wrote the books, Seuss was more than forever he always wanted to be, not on what other people want. And if based on what I said wasn't good enough, well, let me just say this. Look, I know not all of us are going to agree on what Animat said on films such as Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Hotel Transylvania, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, and Hotel Transylvania 2. But keep in mind that Animat did bring up a really good point when he said this. Just because a movie is different doesn't mean it's a good thing. Sometimes there is a reason why no one else like Disney or DreamWorks would do that. Anyways, I just wish it a few people in this world can treat crossover media as an art of nostalgia instead of just casually treating it as a genre that's stereotypically pornographic. Now, be sure to join me for my first ever countdown, which I will say it's not going to be a nice one. So please, no, 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 no! no! Thank you.
So I bet you have. Commence primary ignition. 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 Commence primary ignition.
commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition.
commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. Commence primary ignition. primary ignition. Commence 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 primary ignition.
commence primary ignition. We've got to have money. You need to shut the f*** up! Oh, God damn it! Vegeta, I wonder what Willy Wonka say about what Azuchi Guardian did for casual reviews with Bear Rimshot. Wrong, sir. Wrong. Under Section 37B of the contract signed by him, it states quite clearly that all offers shall become null and void if, and you can read it for yourself in this photostatic copy, I, the undersigned, shall forfeit all rights, privileges, and licenses herein and herein contained, etc., etc., Fax mentis incendium gloria calpum, etc., etc. Memo bis punitor delicatum. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You stole. Casual reviews with air, I'm sorry. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilized, so you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by the evil McEvilson of evil. Ha, ha, ha. I know all of your secrets. I know why you think. Set. I know why you think crossovers are pornographic, and I know why you think. Why you think you hate people with Kraft's disease, but I am. The evil McEvilson, and I will rule all. But there is one 
final secret that you must know, and that is not that Debbie has crabs, and I have very many questions about that. The final secret That's is cool. that... The final secret is that the evil we all know is... Crap. Say good night, you Nazi bastard. Wait a minute, where did you come from? So, as I was saying... Uh, excuse me, do you guys have a time? Ah! End. I said good day!